What's going on YouTube, it's your boy Tech Tricks back with another video and today we're looking at this very minimalist standing lamp for your living room. Here we go! Today's sponsor, with bonus VPN you'll be able to change your region on your Netflix and watch all the shows you want. Check out the link down in the description below. As you can see this standing lamp right here, very minimal standing lamp. I love it. I love the feature that it has on my living room. It brightens up the room when I'm not watching. And I saw this typically in um, very different stores, but specifically I was looking at AliExpress and I had to just search this up, making sure that, you know, usually AliExpress has the cheap versions of things. So I was like, okay, maybe I could find this for a cheaper price. And I was looking around and it would still cost me around a hundred dollars more like Canadian and up to 154 or 57. So for me, I was like, ah, you know what? I think I could make one myself, the one that changes the color as well and connected to my phone. Now this standing lamp builds with three components, the base, the stem, which is the middle part, the pole part, and also the LED. So if you look at IKEA, they sell these um, IKEA knot uh, lamps for about $13. And this is the lamp that I'm gonna use for our base and also to connect the uh, stem slash middle part to our base. Other place that you wanna look at is Craigslist or uh, Facebook Marketplace. So I just searched the same thing, Ikea not, but sometimes they're cheaper here than Ikea. In this case, I was able to find one for $10, so I save about $3 there. Now, if you're the type of person who doesn't want to uh, deal with other people and uh, selling and buying and all that stuff, then you can just go ahead and buy the Ikea not lamp. The next thing we need is the post slash dowel, whatever you're gonna use in the middle. So right here, what I used is a half inch EMT conduit. Here we go. In Home Depot, if you buy it outright, it would be $8.77. So it's not too bad for our post. Now conduits uh, usually come in 10 footers. I had to cut mine down to six and make sure that it, uh, it fits in my living room. The next thing I needed was uh, some sort of paint slash uh, spray paint to paint the conduit so that I can have the right color that I want with my base. In this case, I'm using Plasti Dip. I had this uh, laying around in my house. Now to buy Plasti Dip, it will run you another $17. Now the next thing we need is a smart home LED light strip that you can connect to your phone and also change the color and dim it and whatnot. So today we're gonna use the Philips Hue light strip. Now there's different brands of light strip that you can buy as well. You don't have to buy this uh, specific uh, light strip. I just like using Philips Hue as my main uh, lights for my home, a uh, smart home lights for my home. And if you have a different brand, it doesn't matter as long as it's a light strip um, and it will work typically with this method. Now that we have all our materials, let's go ahead and put them all together. Here we go. The first step that you need to do is to prep the EMT. Make sure to spray it with Plasti Dip. Spray it all the way around, just like this. Making sure that all the paint is even all the way around the post. Now disassemble the IKEA knot lamp, making sure that you only have the base and also one of the tube attached to it. Once our EMT is all uh, dried up overnight, we're gonna go ahead and attach it to our lamp base. The tube from the IKEA knot lamp should be able to fit inside the EMT conduit. Now the EMT conduit is just pressure tight to the post that is attached to the IKEA knot. So don't worry about it, it doesn't come off. I tested it, I pulled it up and down and it, it's still attached there. And that's it, that's our standing lamp. Now we just need to install the lighting for our standing lamp. Now what we need to do is just attach the 
Philips Hue light strip is just a 3M backing. So all you need to do is strip the uh, sticker off and work your way down, making sure that the light strip is straight to the post. And once you are done, uh, six feet should be uh, the perfect amount on the LED. If you want it shorter, you can also cut the light strip down to whatever on how tall you want your standing lamp. Now I'm just gonna speed up through this process, but the last thing you need to do is to connect your Philips Hue or whatever LED light strip you got to your smartphone. Once you've done that, you'll be able to change the lighting, the brightness, and also the color of your standing lamp. You'll be able to also connect it outside of home, um, start up routines, and also make it turn on automatically as you leave or come into your house. Now the projected cost, if I bought one from AliExpress, it would cost me around $105 to $156. And that won't give me the option of changing the light, uh, brightness, all the routines that Philips Hue got. I actually spent less than the projected cost because I didn't have to pay for the conduit and also the Plasti Dip. If you look around your house, you'll be able to spend less as well if you have these materials already. That's all for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on how to build your own standing lamp. The minimalist way, just like this one. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit that notification bell as well. Comment below what, you, what I could improve on. Share this to your friends who wants to build their own minimalist standing lamp as well. I hope you guys have a good day and Merry Christmas. Peace.